New tonight, the solar eclipse is less than two weeks away, and researchers are looking forward to it for reasons that may surprise you. As CBS 8's Shannon Handy reports, animals have been known to react strangely during the event. She has some examples and how zoos are preparing. In San Diego, we'll only see 55% of the total eclipse, so zoo officials here don't expect the animals to act any differently. They'll just think it's a cloudy day, but that's not the case elsewhere. At the Fort Worth, Texas Zoo, staff is eager to see what its animals do during the total solar eclipse on April 8th. We are going to be in the entirety of the totality. What we're kind of thinking might actually happen is that some of the animals are going to think that it's time for their nighttime routines. Melissa Blair is the assistant mammal curator at the Fort Worth Zoo. She says some of those nighttime routines include moving to their shifting doors or acting as they normally do when dinner is served. Some of them could also vocalize because they're going to think that it's possibly nighttime. We're kind of looking forward to seeing what they're all going to do, really. Blair says they'll have staff stationed throughout the zoo and behind the scenes to monitor the animals. They're also asking guests to do the same. Texas is the first place in the United States where the eclipse will be visible, and it will happen during their regular operating hours. We did actually partner with the research team, and we're going to hand out little worksheets so then guests can, when they come through the park, Wherever they're at, whatever exhibit that they're nearby, then we do ask them, was like, would you mind kind of, you know, putting on the sheet? What are they doing? What do you see? If you get any pictures, you know, video, then we would gladly have it so we can see because we can't be everywhere. Similar studies were done during the last total eclipse in 2017 at the Riverbank Zoo in Columbia, South Carolina. Researchers observed flamingos gathering around their chicks, gorillas heading to their nighttime enclosures, Galapagos tortoises mating, as well as monkeys and other animals making noises they've never heard. Even the Komodo dragon responded to the eclipse. In general, a Komodo dragon sits still for almost all hours of the day. But don't expect those types of behaviors here in San Diego. Still, if you want to see the eclipse, we'll have a partial view starting at 10.03 a.m. It will peak at 11.11 and end by 12.30. Make sure you have some special glasses or you can make your own viewfinder at home. For more information, visit CBS8.com. Shanna Handy, CBS8.